Hi guys, welcome back to another episode at Mia Close Food TV. As you can see, I'm not in my regular kitchen. I am in California where it's sunny all the time compared to Sweden where it's cold right now. I'm gonna film an episode here today and as you can see in the back here, I've got company. I've got the guest chef, Sean. You wanna turn around? Yes. Say hi to the Mia Close Hello. YouTubers out there. Uh, Sean is a celebrity chef here in Hollywood in Los Angeles and you are cooking food for A-list celebrities. That's right. Uh, and uh, you are gonna make some food here for us today? Uh, yeah, so we're gonna do a, uh, a vegan dish. Yeah. A warm roasted butternut squash salad. Nice. With wild rice, uh, sauteed spinach and hummus and some other toppings. That sounds great. Okay, so what are we starting off with? The butternut squash is going to take the longest. Yeah. So this is what, since he, this is what it, what it is. It's already been cut and cleaned. Yeah. Um, so it's already cubed yeah, here. Yeah, it's a little bit tough to work with. It's nice to buy it pre-cubed yeah. already in the store. Yeah. We're just going to use a mixing bowl. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to season it with lightly with a little bit of, I use Himalayan salt. Oh, that's and nice. So it gives it a, a better like flavor than with regular. I feel like that or is that It's better zebra? for you. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of olive oil right here. A little bit of that. Yeah. Just to coat it. And then I like to put a little bit of sage. Nice. I like sage. Gives it a nice little flavor. Yeah. Here, just a little bit. Okay. So that's nice and covered yeah. there. You said something about the shakers before. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, because um, you use like a shaker for the salt and black pepper. Yeah. So I always suggest for anyone that's going to start start out cooking or yeah. anyone that's cooking already, yeah. get a nice set of shakers. These are not too expensive. And that way you get used to the weight of the shaker in your yeah. hand, to the speed of the shaker. Yeah. And it's not as clunky as opening and closing. You know the the. the traditional salt and pepper. Because you know the weight of it, you know how much to pour you in. You know the weight, you yeah. know the speed of it. Yeah. So get a nice set of shakers. They're not expensive at all. And then no. use the same one over and over. And they look really cool as well. They're really cool. Yeah. So we got that, we got a little bit of sage in yeah. there. I'm just gonna give it a, uh, a quick mix, toss. And actually we can just shake it up a little bit. A roasting pan, I lined it with foil. Um, we can either uh, use the olive oil or I'm gonna use a little bit of a Oh, just spraying an olive oil. Yeah, that's good. So it's just a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to... Uh, there. Just going to even it out. That looks good already. What's that? It looks good already. Already, right? Yeah. And then uh, we're just going to go right into the oven. Yeah. And I've got it set. I like a little bit higher heat. I've got it at 425. Okay. Roast. 20 minutes. Mm-hmm and it sh we should be right in there. Wild rice. Oh yeah, the wild rice. Now the wild rice is, uh, it, it takes a long time to cook. How long does it take? Between 45 minutes and an hour. Oh really, okay. Yeah, um, I actually already, uh, I already cooked up, oh, pre yeah, cool. I already pre-cooked it yeah. because it, so, it, it, it's gonna take a long time. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna taste the black rice for the yeah. first time. Mm. So I would suggest- Nice. When you're doing black rice or even brown rice, um, a couple of things you can do. Let me put this back. It's so good. It's got that this really nutty flavor. Yes. It's so different to regular rice. I could just eat this with a spoon like this. Exactly. Yeah. So two things I would recommend with with whether it's uh, whether it's wild rice or brown rice. Yeah. You can either soak it overnight or soak it for a few hours to kind of soften the 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 the, the center, the germ, mm -hmm. to, to kind of soften it or at the very least toast it. I see. And when oh. I say toast it, it's gonna be in a, in a pan. Yeah. You're gonna put a little bit of butter or a little bit of olive oil. Yeah. And you're gonna gently uh, toast it, not burn it, but mm. just a gentle toast and you'll get that smell to start yeah. coming out. Let's do the dressing. Yeah. And we're gonna do just a simple balsamic dressing. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's very simple. Mm. But for some reason, people are intimidated to make their own dressings. Like you, know, I prefer making. I prefer making dressing. Yeah, home. I prefer that as and well. And once right? you once once you know how to do, I'm sure you know how to do it. It's so easy. Now I, I'd like to show you guys. We're going to do a balsamic dressing. Mm -hmm. Okay, a nice Dijon mustard. Yeah. Okay, and then a, a good olive oil. And so what we're going to do is, we well, always we start with a little bit of mustard. Mm -hmm. And I I don't particularly measure. It's more fun yeah, to just, I do you know, that as well. I like mustard. I go a little bit heavy. Yeah. You know, a nice, a nice, yeah. uh, a nice heaping spoon into the bowl. How long have you been working as a celebrity chef? Um, 
almost 10 years. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you always know you wanted to do this or did you kind of slide into, like how did you end up I, for this? I grew up in the restaurant, I grew up in the restaurant oh, business really? with family and I got away from it for, for, for some years. Yeah. And then I was actually dating someone and her best friend was cooking for, at the time, Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise. Okay. And I said, what do you cool. mean? And they said, oh, I'm a, I'm a personal chef. I said, personal chef, what is that? I never heard of that. Yeah. And she told me and I go, that is so cool. That is cool. To be able to cook in a house without all the stress of a restaurant. Yeah. So I said, okay, that, that's what I'm gonna do. And that's so, cool. And so yeah. it, started, it started there. So um, again, I don't measure particularly. <laughs> yeah. Um, but if you wanted to measure, I would say, Let's, well, actually, let's, let's measure. It's fine. We can do like start with one cup. Okay. This is this is going to be a lot of dressing. Maybe yeah. We'll start with a smaller portion. So one cup is about 250 uh, milliliters. Yeah. So I'm going to do. We're going to start with the mustard. Yeah. And then I like to do vinegar next. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right there, I like to add the salt. In the shaker, yeah. Yeah. Before I add the oil. Yeah. And the okay. reason I do that is because it gives the salt a chance to dissolve. That is a good point. Okay, so a little bit of salt, and then I'm gonna give it a little bit of pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm gonna give this a quick mix. But when you're working as a chef, are you making like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or? Mm, is usually it lunch and dinner yeah. and small, late yeah. breakfast. Yeah, and, and is it like every day? You, you come yeah. and cook for them every day? Yeah. That is so nice. I wish I had a celebrity chef in my kitchen every day. That'd be so cool. So one day, guys, it will happen. Now we're going to add the olive oil, and the trick is when you're adding the the, the oil, olive yeah. oil, you want to add it slowly. Oh, you want to add it slowly yeah. so it gives it a chance to uh, emulsify. Because I think that's uh, a lot of dressings when I make them, the oil kind of separates. Yeah. Is so that why you whisk it? So you whisk it and you pour it slowly. I see. It's almost like when you make um, mayo. Yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And then, so if, we, if I would have measured this, it would have been about one and a half or two times as much oil to, to the vinegar. I see. That's but again, I don't usually measure. Yeah. I just go off of taste. Yeah. And I'm just adding slowly here. What's the most fun with your job? The most fun? Yeah. Mm. Well, it's fun to cook and see people's reactions. Yeah. But it's also kind of fun when you're in the midst of pho. Uh, in the midst of things that other people don't get to see. Yeah. You get to talk about them. Yeah. But it's funny, you see things, and then uh, you see things on, uh, in these rumor magazines. Yeah. And sometimes they're <laughs> such blowing, you just yeah. laugh. And you're like, I was just yeah. there yesterday, and this person, and anyway. Yeah, those gossip magazines are always just uh, yeah. making the headlines that they want people to buy the magazine for. Right. So this is, we're almost done. Yeah. It's very, see how simple that is? Yeah. Now, with vinaigrette, um, Sometimes it's a little too tart, mm -hmm. it burns a little bit. So you want to either you want to add so much oil that you get out that that burn. Mm -hmm. But I don't I don't like adding so much oil. So you want to add some kind of a sweetening agent. Yeah. It can be sugar. It can be honey. It can be. Uh, we're going to use today a little bit of maple syrup. Yeah, nice. I just brought a little bit. Because that's vegan. Yes. So that's good. And you don't want to you don't want to put too much. You yeah. don't want to you don't want a sweet dressing. You just want it to cut that. Take the edge off. Yeah, cut that burn. Yeah. It's, it's nice to use a little bit of citrus. So yeah. like either orange, fresh orange or orange juice oh, or pineapple yeah. juice, that kind of cuts the edge. I don't yeah. really like using sugar for some reason. Sugar mm. is so one dimensional yeah. in a dressing. Maple syrup is better. Maple syrup, honey, agave, yeah. you know, the pineapple juice, orange juice, things like that. Mm. Most dressings are just pretty much three ingredients. I'm just gonna check on the squash. The squash. Yeah. It looks good. Is it, are they done or then it's No, good? no, they're not done. So. When we open the door, there's a little bit of steam coming out. Yeah. I don't want steam, we don't want steam. Ah, we want it to roast. Yeah. So we're actually gonna turn up the heat a little bit. So I'm gonna turn this up to about 475. Yeah. Okay, just to give it more heat. I don't really want that steam. You don't want it to be mushy. You want it to kind of start to toast a little bit on the outside. Maybe give it a quick little mix without mashing it up. And it, they're about cooked. They're cooked, but we want them to be a little bit more roasted. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a little bit more, just a gentle amount of salt. I'm gonna put this back in. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna go even higher to 525. So then we're gonna do the spinach. Yeah. So I just, uh, I've got a large uh, uh, saute pan and it's kind of 
this up. I should have turned this on. And sauteing is just uh, like letting it cook without any oil or anything? It's with oil. It's with, it is with oil. It's oh, with, okay. with oil. Cool. And that's just making it like softening it up? Um, yeah, you, but you want a little bit of sizzle. Oh, okay. A little bit of sizzle. Mm. We'll give it a fair amount of oil, not too much. Do you think uh, vegan food has uh, become more popular recently? Have you noticed a difference? Yes. I feel like it's like a trend at the moment with especially celebrities. More and more people ask me yeah. for vegan food. Yeah. That's, I think that's really good. Yeah. Spinach here. Do, would you say that the people are eating vegan food for the health reasons more or is it for like the uh, ethical reasons when you're cooking for them? Is it like, oh, I want really healthy food or is it, what's the reason? I think it's more for health. Yeah. But then once, I think once they're eating it, then they'll... Then it's like, oh, it's no, like, it's for the ethical. By the way, yeah. it's actually, <laughs> you know, yeah. better for the animal, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's more humane and, 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 and that. I'm gonna let it saute a little and then I'll add some seasoning. Yeah. And it's very simple seasoning, just put yeah. in salt, pepper if you, if you like. And then um, garlic, optional. If you want garlic, we can put garlic Oh, in. I love garlic. Okay, we can add a little yeah. garlic. And so if, if, since we're gonna add garlic, we're gonna, we're gonna add it a little bit later in the cooking process. Why? Because if we add it first, there's a good chance it's gonna burn and turn bitter. If you add towards the end, the garlic is gonna stay a bit more, it's gonna keep more of its flavor. Yeah and your less chance of burning it, because yeah. once it burns, yeah. it's horrible. Yeah. Can I try your shaker? Yeah, yeah, go right ahead. Trust yourself. Can That's I good. Do this? Yeah. Cool. Do you want to do pepper? Yeah. Go for it. Is it this one? Then? Yep. Yeah. Why don't you take over, here. Okay. So let's do, put a little bit of garlic. Okay, Just you, like you put it amount. in, yeah. So we're doing pretty good, see, because there's not there's not a whole lot of liquid in here. Yeah. See? Yeah, so we're doing pretty good. good yeah. We have a good high heat. And you don't have to really cook this too much. Keep the green, good flavor. Yeah. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna we're gonna put it in here. Good. Perfect. I think that's good. Yeah? I think that's about as much color as we're gonna get. Do you want to taste that while it's hot? Do we need more spoons? Yeah. Yeah, it's so good. Good, right? This is so my type of food. It's like all the vegetables, something that I've never had before as well, black rice. We have cashews and we, we got uh, unsalted, so we can control the salt. Exactly, okay. I was thinking that. And these are roasted, Yeah. which is great. If yeah. they're not roasted, you can roast them yeah. just in a dry pan. We have cranberries we're gonna put in there. Yeah, oh, that's so exciting. And then um, you can also use goji berries. Goji berries are really nice. They're quite expensive. Mm. They're hard to come by. Yeah. So cranberries is a nice substitute. And then we have some hummus, right? Obviously we can make hummus at home. It takes a lot of work. Yeah. So it's nice to be able to pick some up. This is a really good brand. Yeah, we're gonna take some wild rice right here. Mm -hmm. Put it to the bowl. Okay, we're gonna take some of these uh, Butternut squash, mm -hmm. okay, right there, all right. Cashews. Nice, okay. I love cashews. We're gonna take some of these cranberries, like that. And then we'll take some dressing, not too heavy, because it already has a lot of flavor. Yeah. Just a little bit. The dressing looks so good, it's like, because the oil is actually blended in and not on top of the dressing, like it always is when I do it. So we're just gonna mix it, just like that, okay. And it's actually a quite filling dish. Yeah. And so you don't want to go too big a portion. Okay? So we're going to start with a bed like that. Yeah. All right. That looks so fancy. It does it, right? Yeah. And there we go. Definitely. So let's try it. Let's yeah. try it. And it looks so good. It looks like five-star restaurant series. Like, it's going to be great. It's really good. The wild rice, which I love, something new for me. The butternut squash is like, it's kind of almost like a bit creamy. Yes, yeah. and slightly sweet. Yeah, and it's slightly sweet together with the cranberries. There's also adding like another dimension and the crunchy nuts mm -hmm. and the hummus and the vinaigrette. Yep. It's really good. You guys should try this at home. Guys, do you want to come and have some food? There is like a yeah. crew here behind. Yay! Okay, do you want to dish them out yeah. some food? That's great. I'm going to eat more of this. So, 
I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit the like button, right guys? And subscribe to my channel. Also, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out when I post a new video. I post at least one video each week. Until I see you again, have a good one. Bye from California. Bye.